Tony terraced this steep half plot for an orchard so they could become self-sufficient in fruit like they are in vegetables. Red currants were just starting to ripen. Next terrace down, the black currants weren't far behind. These berries will, will form right in the axle of the leaf joints here. So every leaf joint will have berries forming, a single black berry. These three plants will give us a lot of fruit. We can freeze them like any other soft fruit. What we do for our blueberries at Christmas, we collect all the local Christmas trees. The Christmas tree is quite acidic, so it, it keeps the ground acidic for the blueberries, so you get a better yield of blueberries. Mouth that goes on top all the time. Gooseberries, here. And again, they, they're starting to fruit now. Tony built a three-tiered strawberry bed for maximum occupancy that would completely fill in over the summer. So, okay, what we've got here is all our fruit trees and we've grown them in cordons, espalier, and we are starting some fans here as well. And the reason for that is because we can get lots of different trees and varieties in a very small space. These were only put in this year, so it's a case of um, train them as they go and eventually they will fill this space and we'll have fruit on them. Beautiful. This is just normal wood chip from local trees. When tree surgeons take down trees, they'll bark this chip up and they bring it up here for us. It's only about an inch and a half. There you go, and there's the carpet underneath. And the oh. reason for that is because it allows water through. Oh, it's a real carpet? Yeah. And it doesn't get mouldy or anything? No. And it'll allow oh. water through to the to the plant. And it's just a really good way of allowing these trees to establish themselves and uh, keep all of the roots and weeds away from, from them. And it saves me time. This is called bindweed. And it grows up everything. And it will literally, every single axle that has a leaf, if you were to break this section off here, and, and that went in the soil, that would grow a new plant. Mm. It is. It sends down roots meters into the ground and once it starts growing it just twang sort of ties itself up around things choke plants to death and it's a horrible weed so we again put carpet down on the path this is a bit deeper most year but there you go mm -hmm. you'll see this wow. carpet down there and that will stop that bindweed we can still get it coming up to the edges but we can pull that out now these are loganberries they're the cross between black currants and gooseberries so this is Shinrig Road allotments. These five hives are mine. Now the large hive right on the left there is one of my... Oh sorry I'm being attacked here. Tony had to make a fast exit due to his hair gel attracting the bees. We continued outside the protective netting. The smaller hives are where they've created a split from the very big hive at the end. There were too many bees in there and they were due to swarm. Not only do the bees provide honey, but also beeswax. And the wax that we get from there will help to raise funds so that we can continue doing what we're doing on the plot. They now manage 20 hives in five locations. This is Wurzel Gummidge. I made him with my children just as a novelty item over the years. He's been made five years and he's had three different heads in that time. The head is made out of modeling clay and it's screwed on to an inverted tree trunk. Well, tell me, does it scare away the pests? No, <laughs> <laughs> doesn't work whatsoever, but it's just a novelty item. It brings a bit of cheer. When the school kids come up here, they all sort of talk to him and what have you. So uh, that's all this for, it's a bit of fun. Tony works hard as watch manager or chief of the local fire station. But he also has a bit of fun, like the day Hugh Grant dropped by with a friend and his son to see the fire trucks. Since my visit was early in the season, Tony shared some August garden photos with me so you can see how things developed. Though the weather was erratic, Tony managed great success in most areas, though the corn took a beating in a windstorm.
This will be the first year Tony is competing at the Malvern Autumn Show's UK National Giant Vegetables Championship, where last year four world records were broken. Unfortunately, slugs got to his two giant carrots, but the parsnip was measuring 21 inches in circumference at the end of August, and Tony's long cucumbers were very impressive. The blueberries were huge, too. <laughs> What's your name? Caitlin. What's your name? Wayne. Hey, Wayne, have you been to California? No. Where'd you get that California shirt? Um, my mom got me it. Do you like to garden? Yeah. What do you like best about gardening? Um, uh, fruits and vegetables. What do you like to do in the garden? Uh, play. <laughs> do you like to work? <laughs> yeah, as well. I like to do it all. What do you like better, planting or harvesting? Uh, both. Both? Oh, do you like digging? Uh, yeah. What do you like best about gardening, Caitlin? I like watering seeds. What kind of seeds do you like? Big seeds or little seeds? Big seeds. You like watermelon seeds? Yeah. Do you grow watermelon? No. What do you think about those really big vegetables that your dad grows? They're great. They're great? But can you eat them when they're that big? No. No, they're just for show, right? So you get a trophy? I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> you got all dressed up for my visit. I love your shoes. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to have to go. Are you guys going to remember me? Yeah. Can you I will? see my chicken impression? Your chicken impression? Yes, I do. I want to see that. <laughs> Can you lay an egg? <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for the very quick tour of your allotment, and it was great to meet your family, and I hope to come back and see you again real soon. Make sure you do. And we'll do some gardening. Yeah, absolutely. And roll up my sleeves. I can and do with some help. This, I'm going to use this guy for my uh, wheelbarrow. This is Wayne, <laughs> this is Caitlin, and Tina and Tony in, where are we? We're in Wales, UK, a little place called Nelson. 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 Beautiful. All right, thank you so much. It's also a village. <laughs> Goodbye. I hope you'll come see you next, is it? Yeah, you're welcome. Goodbye. Yeah, you're welcome. Come see my garden.